Hi, this is Mike from Marks and Marks and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at the bargain basement PC you can build with brand new parts off the shelf for somewhere in the region of about £650 and get yourself a fantastic, compact, tidy little PC. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to build a fantastic little PC, which is going to be compact and yet powerful and not cost an absolute fortune. We're looking at somewhere in the region of about £650 at the time of making the video. So this is for spring 2023, depending on obviously when you're going to be watching this. The prices may have changed slightly, so um, do check out the links in the video description. The links will be also kind of like a guide, so don't take this as being gospel. You can follow this exactly if you want to and you'll have yourself a cracking little PC. But if you feel you need to change some parts or there is a specific brand which you're more inclined to purchase, then feel free to make those changes. And obviously, if you're not entirely 100% sure what parts you need to change or how to go about changing them, feel free to reach out to us on our Discord and go into the Building a PC help group and we'll help you out as best we can. Obviously, depending on where you are in the world, uh, we're mostly UK based. But if you're a US, etc., we can do our best to try and help you out. If not, you can use PC Part Picker, which does have localization, and you can get the uh, up-to-date prices and availability in your local area. So with all that said, let's get on with it and take a look at our little tiny PC. Okay, so here we are, our £650-ish. It's a little bit over, I do apologize. Uh, 1080p Gaming, this is the gaming PC for spring 2023 and it's got a slight ASRock flavor to it. So we're using an ASRock graphics card and also an ASRock motherboard. Obviously, choose whatever you want. If you want to swap out a motherboard or swap out the graphics card for something else, you're more than welcome to do so. But as it stands at the moment, these are pretty much the best bang per buck parts I could find on PC Part Picker. And also some of these things have come from our Discord in the bargains node chat. So again, if you want to be up to date on the latest bargains in the UK, head over to our Discord and uh, keep an eye on that channel. Anyway, without going into that too far, let's take a look at our system. So we're starting off with AM4. So this is a AMD Ryzen 5, 5600, 3.5 gigahertz, boosts up to 4.2, I believe it is. Six cores, 12 threads, fantastic little processor. Pretty much getting to be the cream of the crop of AM4, where they've come a long way from the uh, the first 1000 series for Ryzen, where things were just, uh, yeah, not entirely great to begin with. 2000 series was much better. 3000 and the now 5000 have really perfected the technology and they've perfected the pricing as well so we're getting a six core 12 thread processor for 130 pounds here at the moment in the uk if you're using amazon you can also look at their warehouse deals where potentially you could save an additional 20 percent so possibly bringing this down to just over that 100 pounds mark which will be absolutely awesome great processor reviews very well Obviously, you can look at the user ratings on here. It's got 96% five-star ratings, which means, yeah, basically, you can't go too far wrong. This does come included with the standard AMD Wraith cooler, the Wraith Stealth, which is more than adequate for the 65-watt parts. But if you don't want to use that, you can upgrade and use the ID Cooling SE214 XT. We've reviewed this previously on the channel. Reviews very well. Again, looking at the user ratings, it's really good here 50 percent are saying five stars for 20 pounds it's extremely hard to beat thermal right are coming up with a few other products as well so do bear those in mind as well but if you want the best bang per buck in my opinion then the uh, se214 xt is definitely worth a look again 20 pounds is a fantastic deal now moving on to the motherboard so obviously when it comes to motherboards there's going to be a lot of people where they have certain brands or features they must have or want this i feel gives you a good balance of pretty much everything so you've got addressable rgb you've also got relatively decent heat sinks on the vrms and a reasonable vrm setup you've also got an m.2 cooler as well which for some people they do kind of insist on that sort of thing you can save approximately about 20 to 30 pounds by going for a lower version of this so maybe like the asrock b450 hdv or the b550 m hdv those I feel do lack quite a few features and are limited, only two RAM slots rather than four, which potentially you might want to take advantage of. And overall, I think the board itself actually looks nicer and obviously has a much better VRM solution. Just under hundred pounds, not a great price, but certainly in terms of what is available on the market at the moment, 
this is pretty much the best bang per buck. Now obviously we're gonna need some RAM for this as well. So I've gone with basically again, the best bang per buck as it stands currently. There's always offers on DDR4 at the moment uh, from one day to the next. But at the moment, both Corsair and Amazon.co.uk both doing the Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gig DDR4 3600 CL18 for £40 or give or take a, a penny. So I think that's pretty decent value for money. Obviously box and scan, etc., are coming in with very similar prices. So it doesn't matter where you get it from, but that at the moment from Corsair and Amazon are the best deals. Again, very highly rated, 57% five-star ratings. Some people get issues with Corsair where it doesn't always pick up the uh, XMP settings correctly. So you can always put those in manually, but overall for the money, you can't go too far wrong. If you want RGB versions, obviously those are available also, but you are gonna pay slightly more money. Next up, we've got some storage. So uh, being that we're on the B550 platform, we could go with something like the Kingston NV2 drive, a little bit more expensive, about five, six pounds more. So really, you're not gonna notice a great deal of speed and the Kioxia Xeria, one terabyte, use those here personally on the channel. PC Express Gen 3 times four drives, very solid, work very well. Yeah, I've never had a problem with a Kioxia drive yet and hopefully I won't and it's the best value for money at the moment on the market at £43.48 from Amazon.co.uk and eBuyer with a very similar pricing as well. This is obviously a one terabyte drive, so it's gonna be enough for your Windows install and a decent helping of games. Next up, we've got the graphics card. So this is gonna be a bone of contention for some. We're kind of sticking with the AMD theme and the ASRock theme. So we've gone with the Challenger D. This is a Radeon RX 6600, eight gigs of RAM. Nice cooler on there, pretty quiet running doesn't use a ton of power, provides excellent performance in 1080p and will prove pretty decent in 1440p and a lot of titles also. Not the cheapest it's ever been. I think this has come down to about 229, but yeah, we're in about 235, 245. That sort of area isn't too bad at all for the performance you're gonna get out of this thing. It really is good. Potentially, you may want to consider the Intel Arc A750 at around about 240 pounds, so a little bit of a price premium, but potentially better performance, and at the moment with the drivers still evolving, potentially you might get a better system overall in the long run, but if you don't wanna play the game of uh, dodgy drivers and crashing games every now and then, then this might be the better solution for you. Obviously, if you wanted to go with an Nvidia card, um, you're gonna to have to increase your budget somewhat because at the moment, there's nothing new on the market for less than about 300 pounds or so. So this uh, does prove to be pretty decent value for money. Obviously for all this, we're gonna have to find a case to put it all in and this is a micro ATX board. So we do find some savings with micro ATX and the same can be said with cases. So here we've got the Montec Air 100 Lite micro ATX case. And this is coming in at 37 pounds, give or take. Uh, you can find it under 40 in a few places here in the UK. Absolutely cool case. And as you can see, it looks really nice. It's got a nice mesh front, so for airflow, you've got a swing out side door, hidden basement, etc. Comes with two fans included as standard, so you get one in the rear, one in the front, non-RGB. If you want to add RGB, obviously you can do. Some manufacturers and some retailers are actually doing this case and giving you four fans with it, so they provide an extra two in the box, so you can maybe put one in the top or an extra one in the front, however you want to do it. But for kind of under 40 pounds these days on the case market, there isn't a great deal to choose from, and I feel this one actually looks pretty decent. Although obviously, you can look at other things such as some of the IONS range that we've reviewed previously, and even some of the GameMax ones can come in at bargains. But at the moment on PC Part Picker, this was pretty much the cheapest one I could find, Micro ATX, which was uh, half decent. And to power it all, we're gonna need a power supply. So this system comes in at somewhere in the region of about 280 watts. So if you kind of double that up, you're looking at what, 560. So that's basically 550 watts, give or take. So we've gone with a Corsair TX550M, which is an 80 plus gold certified semi-modular, as you can see there. Nice power supply, used these a couple of times, never had any problems with them. Semi-modular, so you don't have to install all the cables, which is gonna be beneficial in a micro ATX setup because you don't have a great deal of room. But you get the Corsair brand in and also the Corsair warranty and support and all that kind of good stuff. So overall, I think you get a pretty decent deal. And again, 50 pounds, well, just over 50 pounds. I think it's pretty decent. So that gives you a grand total of 654 pounds and three pence, which I feel actually for the level of performance you get from this is incredible. This would have been well over a thousand pounds less than a year ago for this kind of level of performance, which is, uh, is pretty good. 
We're still seeing motherboards being a little bit too expensive, although the B550 range has always been in the sort of hundred pounds mark. So I feel with the B550, this is the one section where prices haven't really gone drastically awry. They have risen a little bit. And for the ATX boards, there is a massive premium on those at the moment, which is why we're looking at this more compact chassis and the micro ATX board. Obviously, if you want to, you can put a micro X motherboard into a full size case. If you want to get a full size case to future proof. So if you wanted something like the Corsair 4000D or something, then you can pick up one of those and stick this in. It's not going to look too weird, but it is all down to the individual as it always is. But I think 650 pounds is pretty hard to beat this deal. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. So there we go, 650 pounds and you get yourself one hell of a little PC. It's not gonna take up a ton of room because it's micro ATX and it isn't gonna absolutely destroy your bank balance because realistically 650 pounds for a decent PC these days is pretty good value for money. You could be spending considerably more, especially if you go down the pre-built route. So lots of parts to choose from. Like I said, if you want to change out things you can do, if you're not entirely sure what parts you should change, feel free to reach out. We do have a Discord and there is a specific channel for that, so PC Build Help. You can go in there, ask your questions, and if you want to, post your own PC part picker list and say, look, what do you think I can do better? Where can I save money? Have I bought anything which uh, doesn't look right? And we'll be more than happy to help you out. But I think that's gonna wrap things up. So if you do want a 650 pound PC and you want the best performance you can possibly get for the money with new parts, I should hasten to add, then I think this pretty much tops it. But what I think isn't important, what you think is. So let us know in that comment section what you think about it. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully, we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.